Hello, dear students, and welcome back. This English lesson is for grade five, and the topic is housework for kids. My name is Ksenia Rumora, and I'll be your teacher today. By the end of today's lesson, you'll be able to name household chores and to write about doing the chores in your family using the simple present tense. For today's lesson, you need a notebook, a pencil, a device with internet connection, which means a laptop or a tablet or a smartphone, as well as the QR code scanner. Please do have in mind that you can pause this video lesson anytime you want and need some extra time for doing the activities or just for taking notes. So, if you have everything needed, I suggest we start. Let's have a look at these three words, housework, household and chore. What do they mean? Well, housework is the work of keeping a house clean and tidy. Household stands for a group of people, often a family, who live together. And a chore is a job or piece of work that is often boring or unpleasant, but needs to be done regularly. How many household chores can you name? Three, five, or maybe ten? Let's do some brainstorming first. Think about household chores you do at home, for example, and try to write them down in your notebooks, please. How many of them can you name? I guess that many of you have put down chores like these. Take out the garbage or trash, tidy up the room, feed the pet, make the bed or make the beds, clear the table, do the washing up, lay the table, do the hoovering or do the vacuum cleaning, do the shopping, set the table, do the cooking, make breakfast or walk the dog. Almost all household chores you can see in these pictures on the slide, but we shall go one by one and name them. So let's name household chores. Do the shopping, do the cooking, do the ironing, do the hoovering or do the vacuum cleaning, do the washing up. Make breakfast, tidy up the room, take out the garbage or take out the trash, take the dog for a walk, feed the pet. Lay the table, clear the table, do the laundry, make the bed or make the beds, and empty the dishwasher. Now, after we have connected the chores and the corresponding pictures, let's practice by playing a game. In order to do it, please copy the link bit.ly slash chores1 into your browser or just scan the QR code. Have fun! Believe it or not, Mr. Bean does household chores too. Before watching the video, I'd like you to take your notebook and copy down these two questions. The first question is, which household chores does Mr. Bean do? The second one is, which household chores doesn't he do? After 
you have copied the questions, watch the Mr. Bean video by copying the link bit.ly slash chores2 into your browser or just by scanning the QR code. And while watching the Mr. Bean video, write down the answers to the given questions in your notebooks. Let's check. Here are the household chores Mr. Bean does. He cleans the floor, he cleans the toilet, he does the laundry, he cleans things, he bakes a cake, he cleans the closet, and he does the vacuuming or he vacuums the floor. And here are the chores he doesn't do. Mr. Bean doesn't do the ironing, he doesn't make the bed, he doesn't do the washing up, he doesn't take out the garbage, he doesn't go shopping, he doesn't lay the table, and he doesn't make breakfast. So, I believe that you managed to write down all of them. Well done! And what about your family? Who does what in your family? Who washes the dishes? Which member of your family waters the plants? Or who vacuums the floor? Do you clean the kitchen? Does your mom wash the car or not? Who does the laundry? Who cooks? Who takes out the garbage? Do you make the bed? Does your father iron the clothes? Please copy the chart with household chores and your family members in your notebooks. Think about your family members and decide who does what by putting a tick under the correct family member and next to the corresponding household chore. So, under household chores, you can see do the hoovering, make the beds, do the cooking, do the laundry, tidy up the room, do the ironing, take out the garbage, lay the table, clear the table, do the washing up, and feed the pet. Under family members, you have mom, dad, siblings, which means brother or sister, and you, actually, it is written, of course, me. When talking about the chores and giving a report about your family members, please be careful how you do it. You will say, I do the hoovering, but I don't do the ironing. Mom does the ironing, but she doesn't do the washing up. Dad does the washing up, but he doesn't make the beds. My younger brother lays the table, but he doesn't do the hoovering, for example. Or, my older sister takes out the garbage, but she doesn't do the washing up. And it's your turn now. Your task is to create a video named Household Chores in My Family. You'll need the information from the chart in your notebooks. You will use the digital tool Adobe 
Spark. In order to use it, please copy the link bit.ly slash Adobe Video into your browser or just scan the QR code. Enjoy it! We have come to the checklist. There are three statements here. I can name at least six household chores. I can write about household chores in my family. And I can use present simple correctly. Please put a tick or a cross next to the statement, depending on whether you can do it or not. Anyhow, I certainly do hope that there will be more ticks than crosses. I hope you liked today's lesson. Thank you for watching and until we meet again, bye bye!